Hi, welcome to a new build. In this series, I'm going to be tackling the Blade Runner Blaster. So, um, I want to make my own version of this iconic prop from the original Blade Runner movie. Um, this is a resin cast model that I got from Tip Top Workshop here in the UK. And that is based on a 3D print model by Bill Duran over at Punished Props. Um, this is not meant to be a replica of the version that was used in the original Blade Runner film. This is meant to be an updated version, as if this was a uh, product that was in production and had gone through several updates over its lifetime. So I really like this concept and I want to take this one step further. I'm going to put my own upgrade on this. I want to machine it entirely out of aluminium and stainless steel. And in doing that, I'm going to be changing the design ever so slightly, um, still keeping the whole overall appearance uh, of the prop, um, but just because some things will be easier to machine. Um, so let's take a look at what we're dealing with. Okay, so let's look at the components then uh, of, of Bill's design. Um, so the Blade Runner Blaster was originally based on the uh, Charter Arms Bulldog um, .44 revolver and so um, this barrel here sorry, it's easier to see there, this barrel here and the um, revolver cartridge here whatever it's called um, is for that part and uh, that's the, the rear trigger um, these triggers are not actually going to work in my model. They're just going to move ever so slightly. Um, and then the front trigger is presumably for this uh, top barrel here. Um, and this is taken from a bolt action rifle. Um, and you can see the, the bolt action all works. And this, uh, the bullets for this part of the gun are meant to be in this magazine. So there's there's one major flaw that I can see with this that might need to be upgraded because um, while it's very easy to imagine that these bullets in the revolver can come out of this barrel, there doesn't seem to be a way for the bullets from this magazine to get up into the top chamber. I'm surely not the first person to have noticed that. Um, it would have to go through this barrel which is un not feasible. So what I might do I mean, we could imagine a way um, in which the bullet could go from this magazine um, around and up. I mean, this is science fiction, right? Um, so I might put another section here um, on the, the mag holder just so that that is at least feasible. Right, okay, so let's, uh, let's take the handles off and, uh, and see what's, what's going on. Well, we only need to take one off. But, um... Now, these hand grips are the only thing that I'm not going to remake um, because these are meant to be amber and, um, and I can't machine those. Um, so, if we look inside, then you can see um, a vestige of how the original prop was made because this is the handle of the original Bulldog uh, revolver and this is the original trigger mechanism for it uh, which is behind this plate. It, it actually isn't in mine because I knew I wasn't going to use this uh, as the final version so I didn't bother with the intricate mechanism for the, for the trigger in there and I'm not going to do that in my model either. And then what they did on the original was to wrap um, another handle around this handle, which then gets covered up with the hand grips. Now, one thing that you would not do if this really was something that was in production and uh, had gone through several updates is that you wouldn't keep wrapping this uh, handle around this handle. You would probably just make this whole section out of a single piece of metal. Uh, possibly with some large cutouts here so that you could see light shining through the amber hand grips. So what I want to do uh, right from the outset 
is to just start with making this frame um, maybe in two pieces uh, all the way up to here um, out of aluminium plate. Now this is a half inch piece of aluminium plate and uh, this matches pretty well the thickness of this frame. So the first thing I'm going to do is to dismantle this, trace out the shape of this handle and as far as practically we can go into the uh, revolver part and, and cut that out on the bandsaw um, and then see how far we get. So after spending all this time building the model, uh, it's now time to strip it back down. Okay, now to get the trigger guard out of there, unfortunately I have to take the, um, the frame off. And we can put this back again to this extra frame. And I'm just going to it in place. So there we have the main frame and what I th the original the original bulldog revolver um, would have had this bit separated from this bit as well. Yeah. So it would have looked very much like this. But I think that we could just make this entire piece out of a single piece of aluminium. Um, hopefully it fits. Yes. <clears throat> right. So the plan then is just to draw this outline. I'll remove the triggers. And, uh, and then we'll just machine this out of a single piece. to file it and shape it get this curve here 
Uh, but before we do that, I want to mill this pocket out of here. This is oversized because I'm going to have to um, file it down, sand it down. Uh, so I think that's the correct position. Okay, off camera, I drilled and tapped these holes um, on both sides. Well, the holes drilled all the way through, and then I tapped from both sides because my M3 tap wasn't quite long enough. And I've cut down some screws, and so we should be able to install these handle uh, grips. So I don't want to start. I don't want to start filing this and shaping it with the handles attached because I'm going to scratch the handles. So if I just draw around them, then when I remove them, I know where I need to uh, cut to. Okay, this has worked out really well. Um, so I, I hand sanded all of that after uh, hand filing it as well. And these hand grips are ready to go on. But before I do, the last thing that I want to do um, for this section anyway is to drill and tap the hole. I'm going to tap it M10 so that when I machine the barrel, I can screw the barrel in 
and I'm going to have to reconfigure the mill um, to do the next step which is the revolver uh, part um, so I'm going to do that first and then we can put the handles and, and move on.